Everybody wants to protect their bike, but ain't nobody got time for that. So today I wanna to show you a product that I think is really cool. This is the Ares Rear Discard. If these guys don't know I'm doing this video, I bought this several months ago. I paid full price for this. Um, and I actually just installed it on the bike and then I wanted to take it back off and show you because one of the first things that I do to any of my bikes is I install a rear discard. Now, this is the type of rear discard that I typically do. I've done several different types, um, but one of the problems with most of the rear discards on some of these, like on the KTMs, Huskies and stuff, is you, you, take, you take your brake caliper off and then basically your new discard becomes the mount for your brake caliper. It takes a little bit. It's not too hard. I've done it dozens of times, but ain't nobody got time for that. And Ares has actually developed a solution to that where you can literally install your discard in seconds. It literally takes seconds because all you have to do is spin your axle nut off, use a breaker bar because even I'm not strong enough to do that. You take your axle nut off, did you notice I actually pre, I actually pre did that. I could have just done this with my hand. I don't even know why I brought this in as a prop. I just brought it in as a prop to make sure that you guys knew because I'd already installed this. But I want to bring you guys in closer and just show you this because the Aries disc guard here actually has the chain, the axle block adjuster built into it. So let me show you a little bit closer view of this. Okay, so now that I've got you in for a tighter shot, I'm just gonna remove my axle block adjuster here. I love this. So you'll notice that the axle block adjuster on the, the, the Aries actually comes integrated with this. Hopefully that I'm kind of in focus here, but they basically mimicked the axle block adjuster on the discard. And then they've made this so that this can be, this can be like you can put on, you know, you could replace your shark fin down here or whatever. Now I haven't used this product yet, but I can tell this is built like crazy. It's awesome. Um, is, is it gonna be, is it gonna be absolutely as, as strong as just a solid piece like this that integrates the entire brake disc? I don't know, but what I can tell you is look, this thing is the same size. So you won't even, if you've got your chain adjusted, this, when you pull this off, when you pull your axle block adjuster off, this is the same dimension here. So you can just put that on and then screw this, you know, screw your axle nut back on and you are installed. The only thing that I can see like a little bit of a concern here is just that um, it, it kind of takes and makes, it takes some of the room off of your axle so you can't put your, your, your uh, socket on quite as deep. They actually sell a, like a wrench uh, to go in your tool pack, but as long as you're just careful, you don't wanna, cause you don't wanna round this nut off. But the other thing that's really cool is because they built this out right here, it's actually protecting basically anything, almost any of the ways that you would round the nut off by like going through rocks or nasty stuff, this has already protected that because this part is flush right here. So like some guys are like, well, what if I round my nut off? Well, this guard actually protects against that anyway. And so I just gotta make sure I'm tight. I'm good. That is literally installed and it takes seconds. So if you guys have been on the channel or you paid attention very long, you know I actually buy a lot of different products and I show very little of it to you. I, it, I would guess that nine out of 10 products that I buy, at least eight out of 10 products I buy, I never end up even showing you because I don't think it moves the needle. And then usually if I buy a product, I buy it and I use it first before I show it to you and then I do some sort of a whatever. On this one, I haven't even used it yet. I've just installed it. And the reason why I wanted to show you before I use it is it actually does move the needle. See, in aftermarket stuff, it's oftentimes that they're not better, they're just different. But this one is solving two problems. Number one problem is a lot of us need some protection here on our rear disc, our, our rear brake discs. And so, you know, solve the problem. It's gonna protect that. The other thing it's solving is it's super easy. It's easier than any of the other brake discards to install. And so I think it's worth just bringing it up here. The actual convenience of it, I'm totally fine with the price. And again, I paid full price for it. I've only seen, I haven't done a lot of searching, but I've only seen it on their website. And uh, anyway, I, and maybe I'll get them on a podcast or something and, and just show you. But I think they've done some really cool designing here. Um, you can get it in different colors for your different bikes. Obviously, this was a KTM. I just went with orange, um, but pretty, pretty cool product. 
So if you want to support what's happening with Dirt Bike Channel, one of the best ways you can do it is use my links to Rocky Mountain ATV down in the video description or over on my website, dirtbikechannel.com. Um, Rocky Mountain ATV doesn't sell this product, at least not yet. Uh, but if you're going to buy t gear or tools or, or tires or whatever uh, for your bike, please use my link to Rocky Mountain ATV. Those guys are amazing. There's free shipping on orders over like 75 bucks, and it's really, really fast. Um, and they got a lot of stuff in stock. But uh, check this thing out. I'm really excited to use this thing. And with, the, with, with as many bikes as I'm setting up all the time, if I find that this thing works really well and kind of holds up, it might be my go-to discard because it's just that easy for me to install. When I'm doing all this stuff to all these different bikes all the time, four or five, six bikes a year, if this, you know, this might save me 30 minutes, 40 minutes um, every time. And that adds up and time is money for me. So really like that, that uh, product, check it out. I've got a link, I should have a link down in the video description on where you can buy that and use my links to Rocky Mountain ATV. So anyway, Hope everyone is having a good day. Hope I can get over this little bit of a head cold and stuff that I have here and uh, get out riding real soon. So thanks so much for your support and leave a single track.